With this mindset, because this is a mindset. It's it, it's definitely a mindset. You can be from the hood and not have that mindset. I am that you can be from the suburbs and still have that hood mindset. I see that too. I see people who grew up with a whole lot of money, grew up with both of the family, yet they still want to act like they didn't. What's up, fun that drives is Eric. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the hood mindset, the hood mentality. Now, um, we're we're gonna be focusing on, I guess, the US version of the hood, but I mean, there's hoods everywhere, all countries. It's just the way it is. But um, one thing I really dislike about the hood mindset, the hood um, culture, uh, for the most part, is the uh, low economic mindset. And by that, I mean being pretty much purely a consumer and not business owner, not a thinker, not trying to improve. Pretty much just fitting in with everybody. I was seeing some people uh, on YouTube talk about this and I was like, yeah, you know what? Let me just go ahead and make a <laughs> make a video on this too. But um, that's definitely a big thing there, being a purely a consumer versus trying to do better and trying to think creatively, you know, actually a kind of people, different things of that nature. Um, again, you guys don't know, I'm from HP, Helm the Park, HP Blood, Texas, is what they call it. Uh, I mean, it was straight growing up. I didn't personally view it as a hood until years later, until I got older. And then comparing that um, to other other environments, that's when I was able to actually see the difference between like how some of my friends were in the hood versus um, some of my friends outside of, outside of that realm. Another uh, thing that kind of opened my eyes up too on this is a show called Soft White Underbelly. They pretty much do um, interviews with a wide range of people from like crack addicts, pimps, prostitutes, regular people, uh, KKK members, rednecks, every like so many different uh, different subgroups in America. And but yeah, a lot of these different places throughout uh, the United States had a lot of different groups of people who um, just did not really want to grow. I'm gonna be watching one um, with this redneck family. And like, uh, like they had like no electricity. I think mean, it was like six, seven of them. They were interbreeding with each other. It was a whole lot, it was a whole lot, whole lot of craziness. But it's like, they're just still stuck in that just old or just staying just the same. Like, it's like no growth, no creativity. Just the exact same, just, hey, we made, 30k my children will make 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 30k just keep that same cycle you know just not growing just staying the exact same and again kind of just going back um to me personally um i talked about uh just a, well, a minute or so ago I talk, talking about my friends in um the areas that i grew up versus my friends like the school and the uh, difference like i know growing up a lot different <laughs> a lot of people around me everybody wanted to be the exact same i can maybe like five people top of my head who one-on-one super cool creative we could talk but as soon as we get around other people they want to you know i can you know uh pretty much start acting differently trying to fit in all their creativeness trying to just go out the wind trying to just be like everybody else um and I thought, I'm like, okay, what if I did grow up in a uh, different different neighborhood and I needed help <laughs> maybe with a business idea or maybe just having more people around me who would have the same mindset as me. Where would I be at in life? And I think about this a lot too because this is kind of more for like parents. I guess maybe myself now. Um, I'm not a parent, but people who may be having children soon. Something that you should think about too. I saw this from Glendon. He talked about this uh, one of his uh, past videos, and he pretty much said that where, wherever you end up having your home, it's pretty much you setting the tone for your kids and their friends. And I thought this was very important because would you rather have your uh, your kids?
have friends who are more likely to have money or be more creative and be more productive later on in life or would you rather have your kids with people who would not or who, who you know who are less likely to have this mindset pretty much pretty much you're setting the tone type of friends your kids will be around now thankfully for me you know i came out good but uh you know i still have my my oh man my good bro uh joey he's watching the video uh salute you know he was kind of more in my type of mindset too and he's doing great things as well traveling the country doing his model and different things of that nature but uh, outside of him and maybe a few other people that I was around, most people were just doing the exact same thing. There's no growth. And then I can, you know, again, kind of comparing this to some other friends, like in high school, who were like in the Richardson area and different things of that nature. And a lot of the, a lot more uh, productive lives outside of, outside of high school, outside of uh, college, making money, grinding, versus some other friends who are just doing the same exact shit uh, online, pretty much doing the exact same shit. Oh, I got a whole lot of money from selling, you know, selling XYZ, planning about their current job <laughs> and like how they're not growing. It just, I don't know, it's just a lot of, a lot of bull crap. A lot of people now, children my age, we were able to see this because, you know, 50, 40 years ago, out of high school, you probably don't ever see, you know, people back from high school, people back from college, people back from junior high. But literally every day, I can see the same people. <laughs> From high school, same people from college. I can see how their lives have uh, changed. And a lot of people from my uh, neighborhood, unfortunately, aren't really, really at, at that range compared to some other friends I have in uh, higher economic areas. So, uh, pretty much what I'm saying is that, uh, yeah, the hood mentality um, it is definitely something to watch out for. Uh, something that you want to be aware of, and when you're you know buying your home buying your um, apartment etc you shouldn't necessarily be looking for the i mean for the lowest rent you actually may want to go for something more higher up being straight up with you especially having kids and you want them to be in a better environment um thankfully today too with our technology you can tend to be anywhere and you can teach your kids and instill very core principles early on and throughout life you can even homeschool as well now, give them good education as well. So that's something I would also think about uh, looking into as well. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's just kind of some of the stuff I had uh, top of my dome uh, for today. I may have to do like a part two, maybe going further into detail. I might have like a whole list of different things that you should be wary of with this mindset. Cause this is a mindset. It's it, it definitely a mindset. You can be from the hood and not have that mindset. I am. Um, I don't have that mindset. It's just a mindset. You can be from the suburbs and still have that hood mindset. I see that too. I see people who grew up with a whole lot of money, grew up with both their family, uh, both their parents, yet they still want to act like they didn't. Yeah, that, that's, that's a huge thing too, but uh, definitely something to be uh, mindful of. And hey, look at your, you know, look at your, your brain, your mind right now. Do you think you have that mindset or do you do better than that? I definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts on that. But it's definitely a mindset. You can be from anywhere technically, but it's definitely a mindset. It's definitely a mindset. And uh, once you break that mindset and can uh, actually think for yourself, actually be productive and want to be successful in life, you can definitely do it. I got plenty of videos talking about um, motivational ways, um, advice, and also, um, you know, just ways you can make money online in the digital age. So definitely check those out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Boy, you should have known by now. Easy, dope.